in a very active pattern with this northwest flow. We just continue to see disturbances moving in one after the other. This morning is significantly quieter. We do have some scattered showers and thunderstorms, which you'll notice already another disturbance back off to our northwest. As this moves in, we may see an isolated storm from it, but we're not expecting severe weather for today. Although we may have gotten woken up by that thunder early this morning, we're now seeing some of those storms moving right through Italy, frost, and then this will continue to track over towards I-45 in between Ennis and Corsicana. So you can expect some gusty winds, a little bit of heavy rain associated with that. But a lot of us are going to stay dry today. First alert future cast is continuing to bring in just an isolated thunderstorm right through the midday hours. We could even see that track right through DFW. But by the afternoon, we're even getting some breaks in the clouds. We're seeing some of that sunshine returning, and that will give you some time to clean up the damage. Unfortunately, if you sustained that yesterday when we had those damaging straight line winds in the area. Temperatures this morning, we are even waking up to quite a few 60s right along the Red River. We're at 67 degrees in Sherman, 66 in Bridgeport, lower 70s around DFW. 68 this morning in Hillsboro. Temperatures today will be below average again. We hit about 83 yesterday. We're looking at similar temperatures for today. And then we're going to see those rain chances picking up once again overnight tonight. We do have that weather alert for Thursday. We could see it extended into Friday. It's very hard to time out exactly when these storms are going to be moving in. But we want you weather aware because that, there's that potential of strong to severe storms. We could see one round Thursday morning and then another round Thursday night into Friday morning. So we'll have more on that coming up. Yeah, it is certainly an active weather cycle for sure. Uh, Brittany, thank you.